everyone, this is Cathy here for Del Bello's Designs and today we're going to be recreating this scene using the new Lavinia stamps that have been released to Del Bello's Designs. So for this particular card I used a piece of multifarious card 6.5 inches by 4.5 inches which I mounted directly onto a piece of card once folded measures 5 inches by 7 inches. For the stamping, I use Versafine Claire Nocturne and Fallen Leaves. And for the background, I used Distress Oxide, Carved Pumpkin and Candied Apple. And I used a brayer to, to do the background. So I also need a fan brush and a paintbrush. And I have a glitter pen, any sort of glitter pen will do, Wink of Stella type brush. And I have some... Derwin Ink Tense watercolour pencils. For the stamps, I used LAV768 Fairy Towns, LAV765 Pumpkin Carriage, LAV560 Surlis, LAV592 Red Pine Small, LAV767 Nia, LAV698 Flora Set, and I used the one on the left and I use the smaller on oh no, a map taller lamp the taller lamp from the lamp set which is LAV758 right let's get started I okay, start with the carved pumpkin and then using my brayer I'm gonna turn my card around I'm just putting about a dozen or so, half, just half of the brayer, and just rolling it one way until it's quite loaded. And then starting just on the left, like so, I'm going to go across the page, go across to the top. Sorry, I'm going to lift this up a little bit. Right. So again, I'm just starting right on the left hand side and going across. I hope you can see this okay, I'll turn it that way a bit more. Now, I'm not going to clean my brayer, I'm just going to go straight onto the candied apple. And I'm going to do the same thing, start at the bottom. But this time I'm only going to go up about approximately a third. So I want it to be red at the bottom and, and light orange at the top. rub off the excess from my brayer and when you put the brayer down you should always put it down that way so the, the, the plastic bit on the bottom so you don't damage your brayer right, and now I'm going to spray this with a water spray fan brush and to put that into a, if you can see there a glass of water and tap off the excess and then just using any brush or pen to just tap it onto the card There we go. 
I'm just going to leave that for a moment. Put it back now so you can see a bit better. And then after it's had about a minute to sort of soak in, I'm then just going to use the kitchen paper again to blot it. And it creates this lovely background with all the, I think it looks a bit like flowers, like poppies. So now we have a nice background. And now I'm going to use my Misty. I'm using my Misty because um, I want to get things in position exactly. I don't want to make a mistake. And because the I find the um, Cirrus, Cirrus that I use is quite difficult to stamp for me on a, on a normal, normal acrylic block, so I shall use it on there. So this goes right to the edge. And I'm using the fallen leaves for the signpost. There we go. And let me just get cloth to clean that. Surless. I think it's surless. Put his nose right up to the post. As near to it as I can get. There we go. And he's going to be inked in Nocturne. To a couple of stamps with him. So I don't know if you can see on there, but it's, it hasn't come out quite so well on his wings and just under his mane there. So I'm going to give him another coat. Pretty good. Close it. I'm going to ink this again with Nocturne. And press down. Mm, that's pretty good, but I think I want to do it again one more time. stamping on my paper. Right, so that's there. Next thing I'm going to do is going to stamp the um, red pine tree. I'm going to put him on there. And I'm going to use fallen leaves for this one. Want to do first and second generation stamping. That's caught a little bit on the edge there. So that one can be first generation. 
for a second. Right now, I'm going to have to tear a little, a little bit of the paper. jumped to the right place and then stamp off that one there that's perfect right i'm going to stop the trees for a moment oh no actually i'll carry on with the trees i was going to do the neo but i'll do her after just trying to if i get a little bit on the edges i'll try and get it off Right, on there, and my piece of paper, the second generation there, and then I'm going to do one more, stamp off, I'm do this one sort of down here. Right, now I'm going to do Nia and she's going to be sort of roughly there. I'm going to stamp her with the Nocturne. Might have been easier for to do this in the um, Misty. Okay, I can do it here. She's racing along to get to the forest before dark. And I'm just going to get a fine black pen. And we'll do one there and one there. So she's holding on the reins. And next we have the flora. I'm going to stamp this one with the fallen leaves. some flowers at the bottom and now I need the lamp light so she can see where she's going to and then using my yellow glitter pen I'm gonna first of all go inside and then I'm just gonna do it in a round motion that it's glowing around I can also use this to do the frame of the window and now we're coming to the Ink tense pencils. So I'm using a yellow and an orange, a red, and a brown. So they're my four colours. Start with the yellow. Do this carriage part yellow. Right, and now I'm just going to use a gel pen and I'm going to go around all the flowers just to colour them a little bit in gel so when you move 
and, and also around the lines of the pumpkin so that when you move it, you'll see a sparkle. Hopefully, if I lift that up, you might be able to see some of the sparkle, maybe from that angle. There we go. Right, I'm just going to go slightly around the edges with a little bit of the, the red. Finwood. I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed making it for you. And I hope to see you on our Facebook groups. We have two Facebook groups. We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge for all things Lavinia. And we have Del Bello's Designs a la carte for all products that Patty sells other than Lavinia products. So that's for cardio, pink ink, sweet poppy, etc. Uh, I'd love to see you in the groups. Some great people in there sharing some lovely work. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.